Playing a piano is not like riding a bike. If you don't keep your fingers moving, you'll quickly lose any skill that you had managed to pick up. That is why when I moved from my hometown of Austin to go to college, I brought along some of my favorite sheet music. Now that I was finally settled into my new apartment, all I had left to do was locate a piano I could practice on. A task that seemed simple enough. My search began within the Johnson Building, a place designed as awkwardly as it's spelled. Within its walls was the performance hall, and pianos just seemed to tie into that idea. However, for a freshman such as myself, locating a piano within such a building was like trying to find a needle within a labyrinth. I entered the first elevator I saw, and thought back to my earliest years of learning to count, trying to recall if I had ever seen the number M come between the numbers 2 and 3 before. The elevator stopped on the fourth floor, and I started looking. Within two minutes, I found myself staring blankly out a window at the Johnson Building. Doubling back, I found a set of stairs, and only two minutes after I at last found myself outside the Johnson Building, I was once again in the same situation, locked outside at the bottom of the staircase. This was not going well. I was easily falling prey to the pitfalls of the labyrinth. Riding the elevator to the fourth floor once again, I decided to try a different approach, asking. I entered whatever doors I found inviting. The second person I asked pointed me in the direction of the art barn, a building just beside Johnson that was used to display various forms of artwork. The first person there, I asked, sent me back to Johnson. This was getting ridiculous. Not only was I trying to locate a needle in a labyrinth, but the needle and I were in completely different mazes. I decided to take the hunt back into my own hands. I imagined what my path would look like on paper. Finally, I was ready to ask another person, even though it seemed like I had better chances of solving the labyrinth by inquiring a caterpillar. I received a correct answer. The pianos were in the bottom of the Johnson building. Sure enough, there they sat. There's the damn needle. It was a few months later when a friend visited the campus. In Austin, we used to love to get together and sing while I played the piano. The only problem was that it was late at night and the Johnson building was all locked up. Fortunately, though, we were able to get into the Founders Building that was connected to Johnson via walkways. Within minutes, we were in front of not the pianos in the bottom of Johnson, but the grand piano in the performance hall, which we decided to use since there was no one around to tell us no. It is one of my fondest memories at UTD thus far. I guess that is why I decided to make pianos the center for my final digital video project. They had just been such a large part of my college experience that it seemed only natural to use them. So now, without further ado, here is my final project for digital video. Playing a piano is not like riding a bike. If you don't keep your fingers moving, you'll quickly lose any skill that you Wait, you've already seen this.